I wanted to talk about this whole Nicki Minaj situation. Okay, so... <laughs> and this will definitely be clipped into a into a separate uh, video because it, it's so many layers to this conversation and I don't want to miss anything. So please be sure if I do miss anything to please, you know, put in the comments, child. But, okay, let's get into it. So Nicki Minaj had the girls on fire, honey. She had the girls out here talking a lot of, she had a lot of people talking this, this damn week. These at this, I think, cause I think queen mix, yeah, cause queen mix came out last week. Cause I talked about it on the live stream. And then she came out with this infamous tea party episode on queen radio. And she talked about various issues with various female rappers. Okay. You know, for starters, she went to talking about, some female rappers being a little pissy that she, that they were not being on the queen mix or saying that some of this, like people showing fake love or whatever. Um, to one suggesting that she drive the boat with her, even though she might be pregnant and the girl telling her to go to a clinic, meaning to get rid of the child. Um, and she even said somebody tried to put roots on her. Okay. It mind you, she and no, no one said, no one ever said any names. She, well, she never said any names, but we, we could pinpoint who she was talking about. She was talking about Koi Ray, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi, and a slew of like other rappers that had some negative tweets to say about after, I guess, after the Queen Mix situation. You know, we're not going to go too f much into that because I feel like that was already, that, that conversation has already done happened and people, people denied it. And it's that and third. I want to talk about Nikki's sporadic behavior because I see a lot of people on TikTok and I see a lot of people online just talking about how, you know, her actions and the way that she's going about this queen radio situation is so sporadic. And it's so like, she's, she's so crazy. And it's that in the third. And I think something like a, like a phrase was, was, um, trending on Twitter talking about it's the Coke or whatever, trying to imply, I guess that Nicki Minaj is on some things. And I I, I want to say I, I think a lot of I think a lot of you y'all lack empathy, okay? Y'all lack empathy with people. Hmm, let me let me word this. Yeah, I mean that's just simply what it is. Y'all act empathy, and I think that the reason being is because y'all don't understand the position that she's in as a, you know, as a superstar, she's a global superstar. Okay. She is loved by millions of people, right? Globally, right? She worked her way to the top and, you know, when you get up there, people want to start to work with you. They, you know, people are going to want to network with you to set in the third. People want to, you know, come not, and I don't want to say come up off you. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the entertainment industry, that's the entertainment industry, okay? You work with somebody, you network with people, you, you, you get some type of comeuppance when you work with them, and so what and so have you. Sometimes you make friends with people, and sometimes you don't, right? But when you're at a space where you're, like, at the top and you see all these people that you've never seen before, you know, hoop and holler and be like, oh, my God, I love you so much, I love you so much, you know, be on my song, be on my song, be on my song. You do the song and then some shady shit comes out after it. You get what I'm saying? And it could be people just in her ear lying and she just going off from what people are saying, whatever. Sure. You can say that, but at the end of the day, like it, 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 it happens. It happens to a lot of people that, you know, have this type of fame, you know, Nicki Minaj is not the only one. You know, we, we, the reason why we see the reason why we rarely see Beyonce anywhere, honey, I'm not in the mix at all. Y'all ain't going to y'all ain't going to clout chase off me. Shit. Maybe Nikki needs to be more like Beyonce, but, you know, she's her own person and she's very much like I'm not saying that Nikki is gullible or anything like that, but like she's definitely open and sometimes she's open to the wrong crowd of people and they don't have her best interest. So when she's out here working with these people and doing what she needs to do or doing what she's doing out of out of sheer politeness at the kindness of her heart, giving them, dropping them all types of information that they need to know this, that, and the third. And then you shit on her. 
you damn right I'm gonna be sporadic and freaking going off on Twitter every second. And and look, I think some of the stuff that she's saying on Twitter, right? I think that it's some of it I'm like, okay, Nikki, we gotta we gotta put down the phone. We gotta put down the phone. We gotta put down the phone. But some of the shit I'm just like, you know what? No, she going the fuck off. And I think that's that's it's you know, she's a human being. Like she literally, like, I, I think, and I know I made this comment earlier, like she need to be more like Beyonce, but even that when people say that. Like, it's almost like, it's almost like we need these people because they're so famous. They can't be human. Like, they can't have human reactions. Like, yeah, Beyonce is able to not respond to any of y'all. And, you know, she has, that's why she has fans for it and this, that, and the third. But, like, I know just from experience, and I'm not no, I ain't no big time uh, commentator. Well, you know, I got, I, like, I got local views or whatever. But, like, when I start to get a lot of hate, too, like, there's definitely, you can look at some of these damn posts where these damn conservatives be in my damn comments, I'll be ready to curse them the fuck out, too. So, I think we need to have a little bit more empathy when it comes to her responding or saying what she's saying about these women on her on her Queen Radio show. I, I think we need to be a little bit more understanding. And I think a lot of people, and someone said this also, too, on TikTok, a lot of people are, y'all mad at the fans. And that's that's what I, that's what I want to get. That's what I want to switch gears into too. Y'all mad at the barbs, okay? And, and, and look, y'all got every reason to, okay? Now I think that barbs, I think that we need to keep the peace. I think that a lot of the stuff that Nikki is getting in trouble for, it's a lot of shit that we're doing. So when it comes to the doxing and stuff like that, because I don't think Nikki really had, she's not doxing these people. Let's be very clear, she's not. She's not looking up people's information and sharing people's numbers and shit. We just seen her. Cause I guess her and Kimberly Foster, Kimberly, uh, Kimberly, Nicole Foster. She's suing a Barb page on Twitter because she's getting trolled because of some tweets that she said about Nikki. I don't think that, and, and she even said it herself, she said, well, you know, my numbers on online, everybody, everybody can, you know, can visibly see my number and pass it around and stuff like that people are blaming Nikki for that. Like people are blaming Nikki for the, for the trolling. And I think that people also need to understand that they're not in control. People are not in control of their fans. Like, do y'all remember? And I, and I know I bring her up. I'm bringing her up too many times in this, but it's, she's just another example of like fandoms that are kind of like a little, you know, but Beyonce, like literally when people was trying to figure out who, um, Becky with the good hair was and y'all was bull- and they were bullying Gwyneth Paltrow. Like it, it, and Beyonce said nothing. Mind you, she said nothing. She did not tell the fans to stop. She, she, look, she kept it real hush. Okay, so I think the onus, yes, could be on Nikki to be like, you know, calm down, y'all, calm down, y'all doing too much because some of the stuff that they're doing is getting her in trouble, and it's very apparent now. Um, as we go into how other like blogs and other big names are now talking or it's just a lot of stuff that's going on now to move forward with this situation. She's now Nikki is now suing, um, nosy ho live. Now I got a couple of things to say about this. Okay. Cause I had to, I had to really like do my research and, and like to see what exactly nosy ho was saying about Nikki. And yes, yeah, quiet as it's kept. It's very much egregious, very much vulgar, um, shit that's going to get you sued. Yeah. For defamation. I mean, let's be very clear. She talked about substance abuse. Okay. She talked about Nikki apparently having, you know, just, just continuing to use her platform to spread the narrative that Nikki has some type of, uh, problem with Coke or that she snores or whatever is that in that third. I, I, I listened to some of the audios that she was saying very much. Okay. Nikki kind of has a case here. And then she also was talking about her kid. Now, I mean, I'm not going to repeat what she said about the, ki- the child, but you talking about somebody goddamn kid. You know, this is the same shit that Tasha K got hit with uh, Cardi with. You get what I'm saying? You said that she was on coke and you said something negative, real nasty about her child, which is off limits when it comes to blogging. Now, I know I'm a person that gets on here. I talk about celebrity gossip, too. Okay, I talk about, you know, the lives of the rich and famous, right? But there are certain things that you cannot do. You can tell, And you can tell the damn communicators they ain't never went to college or took any type of journalism 
Okay, you cannot you cannot make you cannot say things as they are facts. That's why I always say allege or I always say this is my opinion. You get what I'm saying? These people are saying these people are saying or the nosy hole character, she's saying these things to be fact. You can't say that. You also can't do things that will affect somebody's money. Okay. Now saying or money or well being or whatever. So saying that she's like a cokehead or whatever, that she's into coke like that can hurt her in a way of like okay so all these people are saying that she's on drugs and the father you know her husband is not is 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 under the registry or whatever so apparently these are unfit parents so we, we need to cps need to come in there you know what i'm saying like you see how slip how slippery of a slope that is so yeah I, if i was nikki hell yeah i'm suing you and i'm suing anybody else that says some that says some shit now i know y'all y'all be like you know but what about jason lee and what about what about armand and all them Look, they Jason. Well, well, Jason Lee, he be he been deleting videos. I heard y'all, so he might she might have a case with that one next. But um, as for Omar Wiggins or anybody else that they were trying to bring up, like they, yes, they have opinions that you don't agree with, but it's never like below the belt with these with these creators, right? I think that with Nosy Ho said, you cannot like somebody. That's fine. You can have opinions on people. That's fine. But it's when you go to when you go to the juggler like that, when you say things about people's kids, when you say that someone has substance abuse, that's when shit gets legal. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna need these YouTubers to understand, big or small, that when you say things out the way, and look, we, we we're not back people that's on YouTube are not backed by no company. You get what I'm saying? Like these companies you know, these media companies and stuff like that, like they tell their commentators like, Hey, you can't say this. You can't like, they already know this. So when you're like a, a, like, I wouldn't say we're private contractors or anything like that, but like people that's on YouTube, they're independent. So everything you say, you have to like, you have to make sure your shit is clean. And girl, you said some shit that was out of the way. You your ass going to get sued and you got to pay the 75 K. I mean, I'm pretty sure she ain't got, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much she, uh, making on that damn YouTube page, but certainly 75 K is not, where it's at <laughs> okay <laughs> so i mean we gotta we gotta be careful when we speak on things we gotta be very very careful you know and i i, I definitely feel like you know your opinions and your in your your voice your voice shouldn't be silenced because i like a lot of these celebrities are realizing that hey i could sue these people for defamation like but I think that we also need to realize that there's certain things that you can't say, get a AP style book. Okay. Get yourself an associated press style book. It shows you everything that you can and cannot say when we're talking about journalism and stuff like that. So y'all hoes got to read <laughs> before y'all get up there and say some bullshit. Now you get your ass sued. Just my thing.